Use all fake segment. I'm joined here in the studio by France 24's Vidika Behel. Vidika, as ever, uh, great to have you with us. You are uh, showing us some photos, allegedly, of uh, Taiwanese youth enthusiastic about uh, Nazi symbolism. Uh, those images, of course, went viral. What are the claims? Walk us through what's, uh, what's being said there. Yes, Rochelle, why are Taiwan's young people so passionate about the Nazi logo? Well, that's what this user asked on Twitter, and it gained massive traction with over 785,000 views. Now, it's well worth noting that this is quite a strong-minded pro-China account, and all of its tweets uh, are very much linked to China's power and influence uh, and politics in the region, etc. Now, the user has posted four photos attached to that tweet, uh, all including individuals, many with blurred faces, uh, with some sort of Nazi paraphernalia, including symbology. We can see some SS uniforms there and what looks like a, a tank made out of paper, uh, flags in the background of shops, etc. Um, now, the same account actually followed up with a similar tweet uh, in the same theme just a few days later, this time with a news link to the Taiwan News. This one says, a group of Taiwanese were seen celebrating Adolf Hitler's birthday and displaying Nazi flags at a restaurant in, in central Taiwan last week. Now, this photo, the same one that was linked before, uh, it is a photo of many blurred individuals holding two flags. We can see one is the Nazi flag and one, this is called uh, a black sun flag and it's often associated with neo-Nazi movement. So that's kind of what we've been looking at here. All right, I like the part when you kind of uh, deconstruct for us whether things are true or, or fake. And, and of course, how did you find out uh, whether they were true or, or, or fake? Well, I can confirm that these photos are true. Uh, they are indeed real photos, although a little bit more context is needed to understand them. When I open that link uh, in the second tweet for the, the Taiwan News, this article does actually confirm uh, that a group were celebrating Hitler's birthday at a restaurant uh, mid-April in the city of Taichung. Now, the article's line of events does match those uh, in the, the pro-China uh, tweet. However, the article actually cited a direct source, and that was a blogger called James Curley, who was the author of this original photo. Now, by doing a little bit of, uh, of a reverse image search, was able to find that original uh, post by blogger James Curley. Uh, and in Chinese, they have written here, when we went to dinner, there was a group of men sitting at the next table who greeted each other with salutes. At the end of the meal, they ho hoisted Nazi and black sun flags directly in front of the establishment. So this is, uh, this is the first-hand account of what happened in that restaurant. Uh, and actually, due to the very specific details that were visible in that photo there, as we can see, we were actually able to geolocate the exact restaurant as well. So it does appear that the date and location do seem to be accurate, although we weren't able to verify the identity of anyone in the photo, uh, nor confirm the reason as to why they might have been gathering there. Now, the other photos shared in that same uh, first tweet that we looked at are also all real. However, none of them are recent um, and they all have also been quite well documented so if we if we go back to that tweet of the Nazi flag in the background of a shop this is actually from 2019 uh, it was originally photographed by an American photographer who was quite disturbed at seeing this when traveling uh, in Taiwan and this actually sparked a lot of co controversy in the country uh, and he actually got a lot of backlash from the Taiwanese people for posting this photo. Now, those other photos that we saw actually date back to uh, 2016. They are indeed, uh, it is indeed a mock uh, military parade that took place in a school in the city of Sinshu with uniforms uh, and indeed a paper tank there. So this was also documented by the local press and it was condemned at the time by uh, Germany and Israel's uh, local um, offices in Taipei as well. But overall, whilst these events are, are real, are, all these photographs are real, none of these three events are related to one another and they, are, they do seem to be isolated incidents. All right, Vidika. Well, as you say, they're, they're, they're isolated, kind of standalone uh, incidents. Is it part, though, of a, a larger phenomenon, you might say? And, and do we know why? Well, we spoke to a, an expert to get some more insight on that. Uh, Paul Jobin, who is the Associate Research Fellow at the Academia Sinica in Taipei, he says that these isolated incidents are completely disconnected from the political life um, of the island um, and that the extreme right in Taiwan is non-existent, at least in the context uh, that we uh, Europeans are used to, in fact, by that European definition. 
Um, he also explained that World War II there isn't necessarily about Hitler or about the Nazis, um, but it focuses more on issues that were specific to that region at the time. So overall, it just doesn't really have that same historical meaning uh, you know, with the Nazi symbolism as it does here in the West. Now, this has also been discussed elsewhere on the internet, just like this uh, article by CNN. Uh, and in this article, uh, sources have cited that Nazi paraphernalia actually has more of an anti-establishment meaning uh, in Asia rather than what it, it does mean here. But overall, whilst these images, whilst these photos are real, um, like I said, they are all isolated incidents and unrelated to one another. But they, they might be real, but they don't illustrate uh, in any way that Taiwanese youth or Taiwanese society has an affinity uh, for neo-Nazism as a whole. All right, Vedika, with our uh, truth or fake segment. Thanks very much.